that is clear now let us get into the depth of this figure and then we will see how the solution is actually drawn on paper yeah so first what i'll do is i'll say name a bit this is a i'll give this as b i'll name this point as c this point is at d this point e this point as f correct then i will again give these points something this is i'll say c1 and this i'll name it as c2 uh, this i will give as say this is c right so i'll name it as f1 and f2 this i will name it as g1 and g2 and this i'll give as e1 and e2 because it is in uh, here that we get e f g h now i'll take this as i and this as j and this i'll take it as k and the uh, this point uh, this is hidden behind this figure so uh, it is not taken now what will happen is uh, this point is taken as say i j k l i'll take it as l now this l coincides with this point l and this point l this is l this is l1 and this is l2 so these all points coincide with uh, what we have now this l2 is also the point a which is this one this is a1 and this is a2 and this is again a dash this b is extended up till here so i'll name it as b1 this b is again shown in this view so this is i'll name it as b b2 and this b coincides with a here so a dash as well as b dash is this point on the front view okay now we'll talk about the front view first and label all of them Th this point is visible to me Th this point is visible this point is visible this is visible this this and this okay so these points are visible to me now this i can be seen here as i dash this is uh, my e1 dash this is my okay uh, sorry this is my e1 dash and this is my f1 dash and uh, sorry this is my g1 dash this is my f1 dash this is my c1 dash and this is actual my c dash right so and this point is e again e dash and f dash also will be covered now if i talk about the side view i'll have f dash i'll have this point as e dash this point is uh this point is f2 dash f2 dash this is uh d dash you can see this point uh, and this is c dash this is again f1 dash and finally this is e1 dash and this already has been given the title of b2 dash now this uh, when we talk about i and k so i and k are extended here i and k and c and b are given here so this is b1 uh, as well as um, c1 so this is the solution and when we are talking about the green part these two points f1 and f2 will be f2 dash and f1 dash and again this uh, g1 and g2 are given so this is g2 dash and this is g1 dash and finally this point uh, is e as well as d so e1 dash and d1 dash so now you can see why actually i did not mention the figures uh, say the labels on the figure itself now we shall look at how this solution is put on paper now this is this uh, is my front view this is my uh, uh, top view and this is my side view how these are planned on paper is given by this line x y now we will have first solution that is my uh, this view which is my front view and given in ping i'm not uh, changed so this is front view and all these denotations will remain the same as we did in the 
last one now the projector lines have been uh, projected downwards from these and we get this uh, intersections on the line and the top view uh, is drawn below the front view this is first angle and now sidewards uh, from the front view we will have our side view so this is uh, how it is drawn on paper the final solution okay yeah uh, let's move on to the next question now this is a more complex figures now in the first uh, figure we did not have any hidden surfaces we had a uh, the whole solid thing which was there and here again the color combination has been taken as uh, pink green and blue but here shades are not shown okay so again my observer is uh, here itself and looking from here so this pink part whatever pink sections you are seeing is my front view my top view would be from here so all these green part that you are see seeing is my top view and finally the blue part that you are seeing is from here that is my side view correct okay now you should remember a few things here this when we are uh, viewing it from the top these surfaces are not visible because it has been covered by the upper solid layer now what happens is that this section is vacant or you can say wide similarly here also it is wide now when you are looking at from uh, this side also this uh, section will not be visible and the whole of this void will be shown here in dotted lines when we are uh, seeing it from the side and these lines will also be uh, seen as dotted lines when we are seeing it from the top so that we can know that this section exists at the bottom of the workpiece and this again is here so it will a line will come here as well as here so that we are uh, we are aware that uh, this two lines they are, which are there uh, denote that there is a void at the bottom so that the operator can machine the uh, bottom part and not leave it uh, as it is a uh, solid okay the next uh, let's go for the solution as we did let's extend the rays and let's have uh, uh, different views uh, this is a glass uh, we have enclo enclosed this in the gla glass and now we are going to have the three different views okay so for front view this the lines will be projected and you will have the pink part this is uh, as I told you in top view there will be dotted lines okay so we have this uh, now now first start analyzing let's start analyzing this is the front view which is given to us now uh, this shape is eminent from the uh, first that we see that this uh, the pink part which you uh, we can see on your screen uh, f which is closest to the observer is actually the front view now what is the significance of this pink part and the pink part which is behind uh, the original pink part which is closer to the observer the these dotted lines now I'm going to highlight them these dotted lines and these dotted lines have their importance now see when we are view we are not able to view this void when we are looking at from uh, looking from this end so what happens is that actually there has to be a dotted line here up till this point and a dotted line in this way as well as a dotted line here so that this void is suggested by these this line that this section is different from here so that after uh, say a distance this this distance we will have a void and when we are suggesting this line uh, this line that we I just done uh, in dotted then this suggests that this has a section here when I am 
drawing ma uh, when the operator is machining the piece so that's why this line is there i'll show you in dark that why this line is there as you can see and here also this is there this li red line that i'm drawing has to be dotted i'm just drawing this for your illustration so that you know that this is visible uh, these are invisible lines which are there in the front view now let's talk about the top view in top view as i explained you in the previous slide also this surface this vacant section has to be illustrated as well as this line so when i am drawing it on the top view then what happens is that there has to be a line in this way which uh, which suggests that this point and this line is covered and when i again when i am drawing about this surface then this line has to be uh, covered so that what happens is that this uh, void has been uh, recognized by the operator so we get this dotted lines on both this uh, extended pillars as you can see on the top as i drew and here also again we have this dotted line which as which signifies that this line has been seen as a hidden line here uh, okay now let's move on to uh, let's say this side view now you can see in side view that this uh, only dotted lines exists i'll draw the dotted line this red part denotes the dotted line so this dotted line is just denoted here which shows that there is a void uh, behind this which is actually not visible now this line which is there in dark you will be able to see on a screen between the two red lines on the side view that i have drawn this line is it visible or is it not visible yes it is a visible line this line coincides with this line which is there so this is a visible line so only two uh, uh, invisible dotted lines will be there on the side view one is this and the other one is this one so now let's see uh, when on when we are uh, looking on paper then what actually is the solution that we get So this is the front view and as you can see yeah we miss this line here there will be a line here and this is again the dotted line i'm drawing it in red to make it clearer to you this is another dotted line this is another dotted line this is also a dotted line the dotted line the dotted line and finally you will have a line which is here as well so this is the solution that has to be drawn on paper this uh, this you are looking at is the front view this you are looking is the top view and this you are looking is the left hand side view or you can say the side view which exists now let's move on to a third problem now this problem is actually what you're uh, actually uh, the kind of problem that you encounter in your uh, exams so let's see now here i have not highlighted it uh, now we are going to highlight what we are going to see okay so first of all what i'll do is i'll take this red nib and let's see with the when we are observing from x this is which is here so my observer is here so this is going to be my front view so let's first identify what all components will be viewable in my front view i will use parallel vertical lines to de depict the front view right i will use horizontal lines to depict my uh, let's decide later on first let's go on with the vertical view so when i'm viewing viewing it from here this whole section these are vertical lines so you can see that this the lines which i am drawing suggests that this is the front view which will be uh, these parts will be viewed in the front which will be seen to us right 
so this whole section will be visible what else will be visible would be this this will be visible to us because it has open space so this whole section this whole polymer uh, polygon would be visible to us and this section also would be visible so this is what my front view will be look like and now let's do one thing let's change the pen color I'll take say green now we will look at the top view what all things will be visible in my top view so uh, this green green line so this top view okay so I have this here I go this is the green line this whole thing will be the top view this whole curved section would be seen in the top view the whole curved section would be visible in the top view this also will be visible now what we are going to have here is an intersection of what is going to be visible in the front uh, top view as well as the side view so I'll just use this a line and make it separate so that I can put in the other color line also this will also be visible this uh, slant section will also be vis visible from the top because it is slant it is in this manner so it has this particular distance which is there so when I'm looking at from the top so this section is going to be visible to me so the greens which I have shown uh, the greens which are there are the sections which will be visible on my uh, top view okay okay now let's uh, say take uh, some other color okay the uh, blue will be visible so now what I need to do is I need to okay sorry one more thing would be there yes these sections this will also be visible in the top view because these uh, uh, are exactly perpendicular to the front view so these these sections will be visible where will be visible in the top view right done now what I'm uh, now we are going to take the blue color okay so this is my side view now I'm going to suggest 